this ambition to explore space. Absolutely. As that, an that, entrepreneur. And there's, there's quite a bit yeah. of competition mm -hmm. out there. There's Jeff Bezos with Blue Origin. There's Richard Branson with his Virgin Galactic. Right. And I'm not talking about NASA either. There's Paul Allen. There's the European Space Agency and Boeing and Lockheed Martin. The Chinese, the Russians. Let's just throw all of them into the Everyone's same doing it. competitive field. How is SpaceX <laughs> different? How do you think you'll sort of surpass them? Well, you know, you listed a, a wide range of, of entities there. Mm -hmm. And I think the differences are really different depending upon which one you're referring to. Well, let me ask you this question. Yeah. Who is your competition? We have no serious competition. None? Not presently. Who's chasing you? Well, if you mean chasing and have a serious chance of catching, then I think none that I'm aware of. And, so and, that and Branson the, guy's kind of a hack then? Well, what Branson's doing, by the way, I'm a great admirer of Branson, is really a much smaller technological challenge. So their craft would be suborbital, so it would go to about Mach 3. Our craft is orbital, it goes to Mach 25, so 25 times the speed of sound. But that doesn't describe the whole scale of difficulty, because the energy required to get those velocities scales as the square of the velocity. So to do what Branson is doing, you need, say, about 9 units of energy. To do what we're doing, you need 625 units of energy. The difference is monumental. And then when you re-enter, you have to burn off all that energy. So that doubles the problem, really. So, I mean, what Branson is doing from a technological standpoint is building something that can cross the, the English Channel. What we're building is something that can circumnavigate the globe. It's a very different uh, scale of technological difficulty. I still think what he's doing is great. And by the way, I bought a ticket on his effort. You did? Uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I still think it's great, but it's not the same league technologically. So you're not particularly worried? Certainly not about that, no. I mean, the things that worry me are, are we going to make a mistake? The things that can really hurt SpaceX are our own foolishness. Our own errors can, can hurt us, but not none of the competition that I'm aware of. Mm -hmm. So generally, you're worried about what's in front of you, not the other guy. In, in fact, you probably don't think about them in terms of the, how they criticize you or what they think about you. Yeah, actually, I don't think there's much criticism. I mean, Boeing and Lockheed, of course, they, they would criticize, but I don't think any of the entrepreneurial guys would, would criticize what we're doing. And it's certainly possible, I think, you know, what, what Jeff Bezos is working on could ultimately, I mean, he does have aspirations to get to orbit and beyond. It's just that what they're doing right now is suborbital and at the sort of lower technology level. What I think about at SpaceX is really entirely what, what are we doing to ensure that our rocket is, is going to be successful and that we are truly optimizing the cost and ensuring a higher liability. I mean, that's just a very, very difficult problem. And there's a reason why there's an idiomatic expression about rocket science being hard. It, it really is really hard. So rocket science <laughs> really is rocket science. Yeah. <laughs> it looks hard and it's harder than it looks. What's the big goal here? What's the long-term plan? Well, the long-term ultimate objective, the Holy Grail, is we would like to help make life multi-planetary. That's really our, what we'd like to do. So establish societies on as many planets as possible? Uh, well, yeah. Well, I think there's only one possibility, but yeah. I mean, even if we can just go from one planet to two, I think that's a pretty big step. And you'll start with? Well, Mars. Mars, Mars? is the only viable planet. Viable planet. Yeah. So multi-planetary life. Yeah, it's h help make life multi-planetary. I think that's an important thing. I don't think your goal's big enough. Ha! Yeah? It's ambitious. Well, like I said, we don't expect to do it single-handedly, but we certainly would like to help make it happen. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more updates.